for the snow to get to the Milwaukee area. Yeah, Stacy, all angry on Twitter. We know. That's why we sent Angelica <laughs> to West Bend to show you 14 inches of snow, and we sent Chip Brewster to the east side here in Milwaukee. A much different picture. You don't have snow blowers humming in the background, do you? Is that sunshine? No, no, not snow blowers. We've got some people with shovels just trying to scrape ice off the sidewalk, and then people with salt that don't even want to bother and just say, melt it away for me. I don't want to deal with this. We were, like you said, mostly rain yesterday, and then that turned into snow, but the water from the rain stuck around, and the dropping temperatures turned that to ice. So that's really what Milwaukee and the surrounding area here, south and east of this area, have been dealing with today. You can see the roadways pretty much clear, not much snow really left even to speak of around here. That's because they plowed what little was away and salted it. Now, we had some video from last night, so you can see just what I'm talking about. A lot of snow and a lot of wind. That was the other big thing here in the Milwaukee area is what little snow we had was blowing around. That caused a lot of problems on roadways and problems at Mitchell International, not only delaying flights, but actually causing some flights to be canceled. Well, despite all of that, there were some people that had to keep on working throughout that snow and wind and some people that didn't want to even deal with the flights being canceled. It's very dangerous. It's challenging. It's tough. But uh, somebody had to be it. Somebody had to do it. So it's got to be me. My flight got canceled into Milwaukee from Detroit. I rented a car and drove here. So it wasn't so bad. And it's not all bad news. I mean, there's some positives that come with the snow. Many skiers really excited. Those uh, Madison area ski hills that saw 20 plus inches of snow. I did mention about a half hour ago to stick around. This is my little surprise. I, I'm really, really, really excited for all that snow. So hopefully I get off a little early today since I came in a little early if uh, the big boss is listening and I could uh, make use of all my gear. So the last time this morning. <laughs> is that a uh, hint? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, you know, I mean, hope, you know, we'll see what happens. Just right. saying. Guy can, guy can hope. But uh, Milwaukee, not much snow. I'll probably be heading out west a little bit. So. Oh, well, Chip have Brewster. Fun. Yeah, have a good time. Good. You look hopefully, like a stud. Hopefully. Yeah. People driving by right now are like, what is wrong with that guy? <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, there's the media again blowing it out of proportion. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, well, don't forget, you need weather information even when you're away from your TV, right? So you can download the Fox 6 Storm Center app. It is designed for.